What is round trip latency? Round trip latency is the time it takes for an audio signal to enter the input of a device, get processed by your PC, and exit the output. So what's an acceptable latency? About 8 milliseconds. Ish. You see, sound travels at 0.34 meters per millisecond. That means 8 milliseconds of latency would be the equivalent of standing about 2.7 meters, that's 9 freedom units, away from a guitar amp or a stage monitor. And if you can't deal with 8 milliseconds of latency, well, your dreams of rock stardom might be short-lived. In order to test round trip latency, you're gonna need an audio interface with at least one input and one output, plus something to connect them. I'm gonna be using a quarter inch TS cable, so let's connect input one to output one. To test round trip latency, you're going to need to install two applications, JackD and QJack CTL. You can install them on Debian based systems with sudo apt install JAK2, QJack CTL. Press Y, and we're done. In QJack CTL, we're going to select our audio interface, set the sample rate to 48,000, frames to 128, and buffer to 2. And now's a good time to make sure real time and server synchronous mode are enabled. Click apply, and we should have a latency number of 5.33. This number is the theoretical best case scenario, and it only exists to confuse users. Let's close the setting window, start Jack, and open the graph. Here we can see the capture and playback ports 1 through 4 on the Moto M4. In a terminal, launch Jack underscore IO delay, and you're going to see it pop up in the graph. We need to give it a signal to measure, so connect capture 1 to the Jack delay input, and connect the Jack delay out to playback 1. We can see the reported latency is about 11.54 milliseconds, and that's a bit on the high side. If we check my original benchmark on LinuxGameCast.com, you can see it should be closer to 9. So what's going on? For demonstration purposes, I plugged the Moto M4 into a front panel USB port that connects to the motherboard's chipset, and that can add latency. What I'm going to do now is plug the M4 into a rear panel USB port that connects directly to the CPU. When we reconnect our capture and playback ports to jack delay, we get 7.9 milliseconds, a 3.64 milliseconds reduction in our round trip latency. Free life hack. Does CPU affect latency? Not the way you might think. Round trip latency on this AMD 5600G is around 9 milliseconds. While it's only 8.5 milliseconds on an i5-3470 and 7.18 milliseconds on my 1920X. And that just goes to show round trip latency is more about the system as a whole than just the CPU. Just for fun, we're going to wire jack delay into a Reaper session and look at some plugins. You can see Reaper itself doesn't add any additional latency. But if we add a limiter with five milliseconds of look ahead, now we're up to 12 milliseconds of latency, and that's going to be rough if you're trying to monitor with live effects. Other plugins like DClick 2 can add upwards of 50 milliseconds to the audio chain. And the same goes for any type of noise removal plugins. Ha! It removed our test signal. Good on URN noise. Anyway, go measure your latency and head over to linuxgamecast.com and see where it lands on the chart. But thanks for watching, like and subscribe, leave questions in the comments, and become one of our patrons if you want to support accurate, high-quality, no BS Linux guides like this one. But most importantly, just get out there and make something awesome.